Hey everybody, Jabman025 here. Today I'm taking a look at only my fifth 1144th high grade, the Master Gundam and Fun Psyche. Now I'm sure you're asking me, why'd you get this kit? You're, you're a 1100th guy. In fact, you already have a 1100th Master Raid Master Gundam. The reason I got this is threefold. First being, pretty much every review I've seen of this guy has said, this is actually better than the old Master Raid, and quite frankly, I have to see it to believe it, or in this case, build it to believe it. Now, when you crack open the box, the first thing you notice is, this thing's pretty sticker-heavy. There are a lot of stickers. For me, I decided I'm going to paint this kit. Now, I did use a couple stickers I used for the cameras and the eyes, which have seen a bit, but I decided to paint everything else. And you can see, one of the problems there being is, a lot of the stickers are yellow, and the kit is very dark. You see, this is a very dark-colored torso. I have to add some yellow in there, and you can see, with one coat, it looks like crap. When you're using a light color on a dark surface, you have several coats to do. Unless you can prime it, and I can't prime that small of an area. So, several coats later, here you go. It still looks a little off, and I still have to add one more coating after this. Now, the head on this guy, like I said, I use the stickers for the eyes and for the cameras in the front and the back. This is the only place I use stickers. Head looks really good as small as it is. Posability is kind of hampered, and it's not really that great. Mainly because the head is so freaking huge. And it has those guards on either side of the neck there, so... Okay, posability. Really not anything spectacular. On the arms and shoulder, however, we got great posability. Excellent posability of the bends of the arms, on the wrist, on the shoulders, all the different joints you can move. Again, this is a fighting Gundam, so you want a lot of posability, and you get it. No real problems. The hands are fixed posed, but you do get different hands. I'll show you that in a bit. On the legs, again, excellent posability. The feet are one piece, but the ankles in particular are excellent. They'll go just about anywhere you want, so you can get some really wild poses out of this guy. Balance is okay for now, but we'll talk about that in a bit. But overall, excellent posability on the legs. Once you add skirt armor, it really doesn't hamper it that much. A little bit here and there, but for the most part, we're fine, because the skirt armor itself is also very posable. You can move it and get it out of the way fairly easily. It does hamper things a tiny bit, but nothing that really hampers the kit in any way. Now, at this point, we have a perfectly balanced kit. No problems at all. You can per pull off any pose you so desire. And you get lots and lots of options to play with. Shake test, nothing wrong at all. If I did that to the Master Grade, well, things would get a little iffy, but for the most part, we'd be fine on both kits. Now, like I said, they are fixed pose hands. You get different options. You get the open hand, you get this kung fu hand, and you get the shining finger hands. You also get one more hand, which I'll talk about in a bit. Now, once you add on the wings on the back, things get very back heavy. So you notice those yellow sections? Again, they come in stickers. I painted them on. Several coats of yellow. When you start moving these things around, balance goes right out the window. But you can see, you got lots of posability options. You can put them anywhere you want, thanks to multiple swivels. You can put them any place you like, but he goes from being somewhat back-heavy to extremely back-heavy when you start playing with these guys. And you can see, the only real way to get them to stand well is if you just plant them on the ground and use them as kind of a prop to hold them up. This is a bit of a downer. Now, if you get them on an action base, you can solve this problem. Now, another thing I had with the Master Grade is I kind of wanted the wings to open up. They don't open up here either. But what they do do is give you these extra parts to create the cloak. I always like the cloak look around the Master Gundam, and you can never do that with the Master Grade. They give you parts to do that here. Take this open, slap it on his back, these plugs come through under the arms, and they connect into the front. Again, all those yellow sections, that's painting again. They give you stickers. And it wraps around him like a cloak, and you can kind of get the sense that he takes off like a rocket. You can get into space. And I always liked that look on the Master Gun. Big brooding cloak. Kind of a tank, rocket thing. It's weird looking, but I like it. Shake test, no problems. Everything is nice and solid. No issues. Now, another option you get is if you remove the left-hand section of the cloak, 
remove this piece here. You can lock that into the shoulder and it will swivel open so you can have one hand sticking out. Which is kind of neat. I don't know when I'll ever use it, but it's neat that it's there. Now you get a decision to make here. They give you an energy sash. They only give you one. You can remove this section here and have the tiny, tiny Master Asia holding one gigantic energy sash. Or you can cut off the back section here and have this energy sash for the Master Gundam himself. Now I decided to give it to the Master Gundam primarily because to make this look right you would have to you would have to paint that tiny tiny Master Asia and painting that would slowly drive me mad. Some people are skilled enough to paint that tiny figure. I'm not one of them. You get a two-part hand to hold the energy sash. They clamp around it and that works just fine. No weight issues. And you can still keep the little Master Asia. He just has a smaller energy sash. Now one of the really cool accessories you get here is this giant burning finger or burning hand. You just lock the regular burning finger hand into the back of it, the right hand only, and it locks right into the place, and then you just connect out of the arm as normal. In a couple of the episodes, it uses a giant burning finger as it attacks another Gundam, and that's real cool. But you can see it's not really front heavy. The <laughs> wings on the back are much worse in terms of weight issues than that ever could be. And that's a neat little feature. When we get right down to it, which kit is better, I'm going to say the high grade is actually better than the master grade. It's better proportioned, better accessories, and a little bit better posability. If they made a master grade master gun today, I have a feeling it would clean this, this high grade's clock, but they haven't. If we go by simple which one is better, I'll give it to the high grade. Now, the second reason I got this kit was this. This is Foon Psyche. They actually give you a full-on Gundam horse. Although technically, if you look at it, it has a horn, so it's a Gundam unicorn. Bitch, please. Anywho, you also have a lot of work to do on this guy. The hooves need to be painted black, the back of the legs need to be painted yellow, the head needs to be painted yellow on the front, the gray section on either side of the face, and the horn all got to be painted, and they don't give you stickers for most of it. Not to mention, there's a ton of lining on this thing. So you got some work to do if you get this kit here. Now, I was a little disappointed in the fact that this kit is permanently on its rear legs. You cannot get it to stand on all fours. It comes with a stand underneath, which connects into a very odd place, but you will never get this standing on all fours, which is a bit of a downer. The back legs do have posability, which you will never move because you need them planted on the ground at all times. The front legs are posable, and you can get them in different rearing motions. They bend at three different spots, so you can get all sorts of nice poses. And you can put them just about anywhere you like, but truthfully, you're always going to have one forward and one back, so it looks like a horse rearing up. You do have the ability to move the head a tiny bit, but it will move. And the tail, if that's what this is on the back, but whatever it is, it can be moved to just a tiny bit. But that's nice. Now, you can remove this section here on the back and pull up a plug, and then just slap that piece right back where it came from, as so, and that plug will plug into the bottom of the Master Gundam, and you can hook them right in there. That same hand that was holding the energy sash will now hold the reins on Foon Psyche. So you can look just like he's riding. This does not create any balance issues. I was kind of worried, well, once you put them on there, how balanced will this setup be? You're fine. You can put the wings anywhere you want, move anything you want. No problems at all, as long as both hooves and the uh, little base there is firmly on the ground. Final thoughts on this kit. I'm giving this kit a big thumbs up. The things you can do with this kit, the add-on of Foon Psyche, all the neat little accessories they gave you, I love this kit. It's a high grade. I kind of wish they would do this in Master Grade form. For those of you who remember when this was announced, it was initially reported as a new Master Grade, and I was all excited, and then they said, no, 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 that's a misstatement, it's actually high grade. But overall, this is a great kit, big thumbs up. I'm happy to have it in my collection. If you want one, pick it up. 
Well, gang, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. hope you found it informative. Please stay tuned for more reviews. Please leave a comment. You guys know I love reading them. And I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and uh, one more thing. The third reason I picked this guy up is just so I can do this gag. Hello, Gundam fans. Look at your Gundam. Now back to me. Now back to your Gundam. Now back to me. Sadly, it isn't me. If it was me, it'd be faster, stronger, and much more badass. Look at your hand. Back to mine. My hand is glowing. Now look back at your hand. Now back to me. Both hands are glowing. Anything is possible when you're piloted by none other than the King of Hearts, Master Asia. I'm on a horse. A Gundam horse.